All right, everybody, welcome back to the uh, third place match. We have Stan Taranjo and Lake McKay. Lake won the lag and broke. Looks like he broke dry so and scratched. So he had all kinds of problems in that, uh, that break. let's see if Stan can uh, turn the tide in this match and you know because Lake won the leg so he's got the momentum right so it's time mm -hmm. for Stan to turn the momentum back the lag is important but I don't necessarily think it totally sets the tone oh, of the match it totally does I'm no, sure of it I don't think so I don't think so sure of it I'm totally sure of it I just want to slide over on that one you know, it's that whole thing of um, how I play pool and how the rest of the world plays pool. Well, there, yeah. Nice shot by Stan. Gets a good break off the bump off the rail. Mm -hmm. A little straight on the seven, it looks like, but yeah, no, he's he's got enough of an angle. Yeah. He can slide up. <clears throat> he just needs to close it out. He was having a little trouble with that in the match before. There was a couple of games where he did not close out the match, or did not close out the game. So. Right, right. So Lake is going to give him the nine. Yep. Was it Jester or was it uh, Drew Down to Cali who was saying earlier they don't like it when people touch the rack after they... You know, there's a lot of people who don't yeah. like uh, when they touch the rack. Yeah. You know, but in, in all honesty, it's he's racking for himself. Yeah. So he wants to make sure that there's a tight rack so he gets a nice spread. Yeah. If it was a rack for your opponent format, that would be a bit different. Yeah, it would know? be a li little different. <laughs> Three balls on the break for Stan. And no shot on the two. Unless the cue ball will sneak between that four and eight, but I'm not sure it will. So he's uh, did not control everything on the break. So he's going to try to get the cue ball up here behind the six. And uh, I think that works out pretty good. The lake's standing in front of the camera, so we can't really see. Yeah, uh, yeah. actually. He's going to get, looks yeah. like he's going for a jump cue. That would be a violation. An infraction. A boo-boo. <laughs> Oops.
four on the side, six in the corner, eight down table. Or do you, would you try to get Or would you just try to get over and take? Or would you try to get below the eight to try right, to get closer heck. to the nine? Which is what he, he opted for. Yeah, because he's just going to draw draw it back. Yeah. So. I'm, for me, I'm still working the kinks out of that particular shot. So. Maybe a chiropractor will help. <laughs> Or a masseuse. Something. All right. Stan gets a game. So he's up two to nothing. Well, the winner of this is uh, going to be playing Nick. For the and finals, it's true double, true double elimination. So whoever yes. wins this match has to beat Nick twice. Yes, that is true. Um, so when this when this match is over when and before the finals. Yes. Yes. Can you guys feel the excitement building? We are gonna give away that beautiful, beautiful if you wanna flash it. Yeah, why don't you flash us for a meal? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yes, that one. And then hit yep. The Ernie Amori custom Q. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It is a purple heart and Gabon ebony full splice cue. It's got a low deflection shaft that Ernie Amori created. Okay. <laughs> Drop it real quick, and then you can put the logos back up. He's got to hit the arrow. Yeah. There we go. Now you can put the logos back up. Um, right there. It's a Gabon Ebony and Purple Heart full splice cue. So it's a more center weighted cue than most traditional mm. cues. It's got a low deflection shaft Hit that uh, is Ernie's own creation. And uh, the tip on it is a G2 layered tip. It will play for you very sweetly. It takes a lot of the human error out of the equation, which Lord knows I need. Yeah, now if you just perfect the aiming on those things. What? <laughs> There's aiming involved? Uh, yeah. Man, you know what? I'll tell you. This pool thing. You, keep, you people keep adding things to it every day. Well, you know. What the Sam Hill? <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to be a better player. I never said that. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. When did I say that? And do you have it recorded? I think I do. I don't think so. I do. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I must have been delirious if I said it. All right, so Stan is going for an extension. Who's got the big extension out? And the glove. Gonna try to run into that five ball. At least I thought he was. Oh, he's trying to come on to the other side of it. Yeah, and sit, 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 sit. There he's we go. Good. That's good. <laughs> Mike, um, in pool, yes. In snooker, I doubt it very seriously. <laughs> Context. <laughs> he said, will it help him make more, more than one ball at a time? <laughs> Probably. It's helped me. And Lord knows I'm a basket case. All right, so that is uh, three wins for Stan.
All right, so this is the first time in two racks that Lake has really had a chance at the table. Made a couple of balls, got a little squirrely on the three, tried to muscle something in, and uh, ended up leaving the three ball hanging in front of the pocket for Stan. And that might be the only time he sees the table in this rack, unless Stan makes an unforced error. Four in the corner, five down table. Six on the foot end of the table. Seven in the side, eight up table. Might have got a little funny on this four ball. Actually, he's probably thinking about a shot on the nine. <laughs> no, that was the last match. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, Stan. <laughs> now what? <laughs> yeah, that was kind of that was kind of interesting that he chose to do that that way. He must have had a funny angle on that four that I couldn't tell. Because getting above the uh, six ball is what you know he had to get above the six ball going mm -hmm. that way, and he didn't make it. So he could come in behind the five and kick it over here in the lower left-hand corner pocket as the uh, camera turns. Ooh, and he, Ooh, missed, and he it. missed it all together. Well, there's the unforced error that Lake was hoping for. I would have given up that nine ball. I think Stan stood up and started walking towards the table because he thought Lake was going to get perfect shape on that nine. And, and, and then, and then, then he kind of got caught because <laughs> it, he didn't get perfect shape on the nine, so he decided to give it to him anyway. <laughs> so. hmm. This is what happens. This is the slippery slope when you concede. This is why, one of the reasons why uh, Paul Pottier never concedes a nine ball. Well, yeah, you never know what's going to happen. You never do know what's going to happen. And I just, I spend so much time. Well, for one, I, I see it. I see, I see what can happen. Mm -hmm. And I know that, you know, all kinds of things can happen. And it can get in people's heads and all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. So... Yep. <laughs> Would you hand me a cough drop, please? 
Yeah. You know, sometimes I think I should buy stock in a coffee <laughs> company. Or I should actually, you know what I actually should do? I should start making my own cough drops. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Why are you looking at me that way? Well, I'm just trying to think you of the process of how you would go about doing that. I saw a video on Facebook Did about it one time. I thought it was Mr. Rogers' thing. It could be a Mr. Rogers thing, but I saw a video on <laughs> Facebook about making your own cough drops. Quite enough oomph. He just shot that a little soft, he said. He told Stan. Stan wondered if it rolled off on him and said you just saw it a little soft. So Stan's gonna jump over the four. The three's right there in the pocket, so you would assume and we all know what that does. If he hits the three, it should go in. But he's got to hit the three first. He can't hit the rail first. And well, he's, he's got to get up over the four ball. That would have been the first thing. You know, it's interesting. I know a lot of people don't put their jump cues together at the beginning of the match. They wait until they need it to put it together. Mm -hmm. But then they just leave it together. Stan always takes us apart. Well, I guess he's thinking he's not going to need it again. I I'm not, I can't screw up twice in one match. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what he's thinking? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, but I always put mine together so that I don't need it. Yeah, you were saying that yesterday. Yeah. I don't have one, so I don't have to put it together. Yeah, you don't need one. Learn how to kick first. I'll kick you. <laughs> I personally think that people learn how to jump too soon. It's true. I think people use too much English too soon as well. Because it becomes a crutch. I, well, I think people who are who use English because it, it's cool to spin the ball. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, if you don't have a good grasp of center ball and natural position and speed control and all that kind of stuff, when you start applying English, you're still not going to have <laughs> a good grasp of where that where your cue ball is going to go right. and where your right. you know where your objects are going to ball going to go consistently. Okay, so it's three to two. <laughs> All right, so Lake uh, gets a ball on the break this time. But I think he's hooked on the one. Nope, he can see a little bit of it. What were you chuckling about? Oh, um, Rick had said you can't jump an APA, so I don't have one either. And that's not true. You can jump an APA. Um, but you have to use a full cue. Your full playing cue, I believe it is, mm -hmm. isn't it? You know, you can turn up his volume so he can talk to us. I don't want to. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> and yet, she is the nice one. Right? 
Go figure. Look, if you turn up his mic and then he can talk to us and I've got more voices in my head. I don't need anybody else in my head. It's a little crowded. Just saying. Well, if you would stop self-medicating, the actual <laughs> medication that you're on might work. I'm not on medication? Well, <laughs> since when? That's not what you told me three weeks ago. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, people. <laughs> I am just kidding. Joseph Daniel Tarango. Yeah. Yeah, Rick, it, that's really true, is that you can jump an APA. You just have to be able to use a full queue to do it. And I'm not sure what the difference is between a full queue and a full playing queue. Well, because some break queues have a phenolic tip. And most playing cues do not. I don't know. I think that's partly why they say you have to use your full playing cue. It's going from bad to worse here. <laughs> worser. 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 Which is kind of like worse to Chestershire sauce, only different. <laughs> he almost got lucky there, I think.
Well, I think he got safe. Looks like it. Yep. Good hit. He yeah. hit it on the way back instead of the way in, but yeah, you know, like, sort of, it's going to give him fits, I think, assuming that some of the food in Dan's belly has digested and he can bend over the table better, <laughs> and maybe not. <laughs> He's on the eight. Yep. Somebody has offended the pool gods. Uh-oh. Did you get the good speed on that? Pretty good speed. He was kind of, I think, wanting to get that cue ball up on the rail. But uh, he's given distance and kind of straight on here. So we'll see what Lake can do with this. Runs into the nine ball as well. Leaves Stan Long on the eight. So Stan retakes the lead. It is four games to three in favor of Stan Tarangelo. We got a race to seven going on here. This is the third place match for the 2017 Malarkey's Pool and Brew Thanksgiving Classic. We started the day um, yesterday with 65 players. We are now down to three. This is a uh, true double elimination tournament, so uh, Nick Kruger's sitting on the point. Whoever wins this match uh, whoever wins this match moves on to play Nick, and uh, they're going to have to beat Nick twice if they want to um, win the championship and take home the 850 dollar. I go with it. She hit me my charger cord. the eight um, wow. got the uh, he's gonna have to bank this back into the side pocket yeah I think he is needs to come I don't think he's completely frozen to the seven. Oh, I don't think so. But I don't think he really has a shot on the four.
So we're batting around the four ball a little bit. And I think Lake might have gotten that four ball just a bit behind the nine. Not sure Stan can make it in the corner pocket and then get shape on the five. So we'll see how he plays this. He got back up again, so that generally means that he's got to come up with something else. Nope, he had that clean little bounce off the rail. Nicely played. Smile, it could be worse. All right, so five to three, Stan Taranjo leads this match, a race to seven. Stan, looking, Stan is looking to avenge his loss to Nick Kruger in the point match. All right, here we go. Stan Taranjo is breaking. He is leading this match five games to three in a race to seven. Okay. Pretty sure I got him on there. You went through all those emails that I showed you, correct? Yeah, I did. Okay. Made sure everybody was in there? Yep. I did. All right. Had I missed anybody? Yes. A couple, right? Yep. I think there were two that I wasn't sure were in there. We have made every effort to ensure that our processes are accurate. <laughs> to within tolerance. We have a tolerance? Mm. So we're getting closer. It's five to three. Mm -hmm. Only a few more games and we'll have mm -hmm. the drawing. It's already. So. It's already. I want. Does so. Does that drum when you. When you hit start, does that little drum actually move? Have I you tested this out at all? Nope. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I can. I mean, I can. Oh, that's funny. So which list is it going from of the several you have saved in there? Um, the top one. The top one? Yeah. So now you see how it works. I'll do it on camera. So right. you'll be able to see. laughing at uh chris robbins what did he say what would she say she said sassafras she did yesterday and she just did again you know so. it's one of the things i like about chris robbins she's so responsive hmm. okay no, i don't this. chris i don't think adrian was too impressed with my picture of, of harley watching the stream as one of our <laughs> posts I, I'm not really sure she was super thrilled about that. I it personally thought it was kind of cute. I, I well, it was cute. And I wasn't thrilled. 
Well, everybody knows cats are finicky. You know, maybe I was just having a difficult day that day. And that's the reason why you didn't get the response that you were looking for. Hmm. Okay. We'll go with that. <laughs> or next time, better yet, next time, tell me the response you want me to to, to give I you. I wasn't necessarily looking for and any I kind of a response. I wasn't looking for any kind of a response. I don't do things for responses. Well, then you can't. You can't get upset because I don't give you the response that you want. Who said I was upset? Well, I don't know what you are. I'm just trying to cause nest between you and Chris. <laughs> there is no nest between Chris and I. Because we all know she's a crazy cat lady. I have three. We understand each other. <sighs> yeah, no, the claws are not coming out. Annie's been declawed. Oh, I didn't know. Lake is from Vancouver. Island. Did he get there again? Yeah, looks like it. I would say Luck of the Irish, but he's not Irish. Wow, and Lake completely missed the six ball and scratch, so Stan gets two ball in hands in a row. <laughs> Chris says, <laughs> she and I ooze fun. <laughs> you can't mess with that. Is he going to come up dry, or is that two ball good? No, no, yeah, he nope. came up dry. He came up dry. Mm. I think Turbo's getting nervous. No more entries. <laughs> <laughs> Could you hand me my water, please? Thank you. You know... You know you got something special when Turbo gets anxious about the entries. I do not get that at all. Because, you know, Turbo kind of, Turbo usually gives away entries. Mm -hmm. You know, now he's just, oh, he's well, trying to keep as many as he, he can. Everybody wants that cue. It's beautiful. It's a gorgeous cue. You know, whoever wins this queue after they've played with it, I mean, really committed to playing with it for like a year or less. I mean, it takes a few months. You need, they need to come back and tell us what they think of it. And I bet they're going to say it's one of the best queues they've ever played with. Yeah. I would agree with that. I also think what they need to have somebody... Um, uh, take video of them opening up the package as well <laughs> if we have to mail it to them but since I don't think there's anybody here that's actually in the entry list anyway maybe maybe not Ramil's like I used to be I used to be <laughs> He 
wanted to be with part of us so bad, he gave up. He sacrificed his entries for that queue. He did. He did. Just so that uh, he could be part of Rail to Rail. Chris says, way back in the day at WBCA tourney, the streamer had a black curtain around him, and she wants to know if that was us. And no, no. that was cheese. That was cheese. We had <laughs> we had one on one side at one time. Um, which Way says, how do we enter? Mike Robinson says, I'll let you know after I win. <laughs> <laughs> but I, but I think he meant that he'll let you let him let us know about the queue after he wins it. <laughs> and then Rick says, "You mean after I loan it to you, Mike?" <laughs> um, way we have been asking trivia questions for about a year, garnering entries into the drawing. We've also um, uh, have a post on our Facebook page about this match here between uh, Stan Taranjo and Lake McKay. If you like that post and share that post, you will get... If you like it, you get one. If you share so, it, you get one. Yep, so you can get two entries from that. And not everybody that shares it is showing up, so if you uh, make sure you um, let us know that you liked and shared the post, so... Then you can get the entries. All right, so Lake's going to go ahead and concede the eight and the nine to Stan. So, congratulations, Lake McKay. He takes third place in the 2017 Malarkey's. Holiday Classic, so that means that Nick Kruger and Stan Taranjo are going to be coming up in a few minutes.